We're backstage with Sinbad at his performance here in Baltimore. We welcome you to the city. Well, thank and, you. Uh, Thoroughly enjoyed the show. Cool. It was good. We had fun. Hippodromes. It's off the hook. Want well, to congratulate the doctor for the Blacks and Wax Museum. They got the American Legacy. It's one of the what was it? Ten museums are on it. Ten museums. Ten museums, which is a high honor. One of the best museums. I'm going to come through there. I couldn't make the trip this week. Not going to lie. But next time I come to this area, whether it's D.C. or Baltimore, I'm going to come by. Well, I'm going to do a personal tour, and I really appreciate. Um, you're taking the time to come visit us, and I thoroughly enjoyed the performance in uh, here in Baltimore, okay. and uh, and also in New York. Okay, and I expect to see my my character, my wax, when I come in. I'll be my Sinbad wax character. Absolutely. Well, we'll and and <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Martin started the museum what 20 years ago? 20 yeah. With four uh, figures. What was your first character? Um, Mary McLeod Bethune and Frederick Douglass. Okay. And we used to. Um, put them in the hatchback of my car no. and set them up and take them home to our two beds on the park. So the police stopped you, you look like... Well, they, they did stop my husband once because <laughs> he had Frederick Douglass's feet sticking up. No. You know, asked him to cover those things up, you know, not to get on the beltway driving around with those things hanging up. Are you serious? Yeah. Absolutely That's funny, serious. man. That's funny. Um, they resided. In the <laughs> <laughs> they lived. They hung out. <laughs> they hung out. Thank you. <laughs> in the guest bedroom of our two-bedroom apartment. And if you come in and it didn't give a time to look at that, you'll see Mary McLeod Bethune's head and up on the dress and Frederick Douglass's torso in the corner. And so you had to so you put them together when you were exhibiting the things, right? Right, because you can you can take them apart. The heads come off and the, the hands. Now who designs? Who makes who makes actual wax? Well, we have a team of um, wax figure makers from across the country. Okay. Because when we when we first started, I mean, the, the figures that they made for um, for um, blacks were just they were, I know they're terrible. They're always they were terrible. They were terrible. terrible. Um, they didn't look like human beings, mm -hmm. and so we just kind of started doing our own thing. Even at one point, um, someone at Morgan, my husband uh, taught at Morgan. They taught him how to. Uh, make paper mache uh, and chicken wire bodies. And so, okay. Um, we found that we just needed to buy the heads and the hands and then we stuck them on those little bodies that he fashioned and um, when we opened up our storefront in, in, on Saratoga Street there was um, there was one thing and if you walk by it real quickly it would go like this <laughs> because of the chicken wire. But, so it's been, it's been an interesting thing but um, just the whole idea now we have over 150 wax figures. Um, they're very well done. We um, recently unveiled one of Dr. Dorothy Height. We're okay. doing uh, Medgar and Merle Evers, uh, Williams uh, for the NAACP for the, uh, um, the convention in D.C. This, uh, in um, July. How long How long it take to make one? We're comfortable with five months because it allows okay. us to, to show it to some person that they've designated to approve of it and okay. we can make changes and so forth. All right. And how do you pick, how do you pick who you're going to make the next figure up? When we first started out, it was just looking at that part of history that does not get told. Mm -hmm. um, and so we didn't do a lot of um, athletes and entertainers mm -hmm. in the beginning. Um, but we are in the midst of a block long expansion of the museum. Okay. And um, so we are telling all aspects of history. All right. um, we, we unveiled the wax figure of Shirley Chisholm and she was at the unveiling. Uh, okay. Uh, and, you know, so it's it's a very serious history. The most compelling part of it is our uh, slave ship that you go down into, the okay. sounds and so forth. And it's, it's you know, it, it doesn't pretend to be anything except a slave, a slave ship. ship. Okay. But, All right. Um, and we also are one of the few museums in the country that um, that tell the story of lynching as a permanent exhibit. And okay. again, it doesn't it doesn't pretend that lynching was frontier justice. It was lynching on a horrendous act. So anyway, I'm hoping you come. I had to come check it out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>
Oh.